in a square. Now in a square we are going to draw four circles touching one side and other two circles. A uh, rough diagram will be something like this. Now see, in this the method will remain same. First you draw a square. See when you are drawing a line, that time no, don't, don't worry, you just draw a light line, take dimensions, After this, we will join diagonals. Now, in this case, we don't have to bisect. Then we can mark midpoints of all four sides. A, B, C, D and this is O. So if you see in this case also, if you see properly, we have divided a square into four parts like O, A, B, one triangle, O, B, C, another triangle, O, C, D, another triangle, O, D, A, another triangle. Now again, same procedure, we will bisect angle O, A, B. Now we will take 1 to n as radius and draw one circle. Again we will take O to 1 as radius and we draw it a very light circle. So by doing this, what I am doing? I am transferring points. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4. Now again you take the same radius like 1 to n. So we have drawn a four circles inside a square touching one side and other two circles. Now same method we can follow in pentagon and hexagon as well also. Now we'll draw a pentagon and in that pentagon we we'll draw five equal circles touching one side and other two circles. Now for pentagon we have one method that is called uh, general method what we have seen. Now we will draw a pentagon with a different method that is called 72 degree method. I think most of the people uh, are familiar with this method. In that we will take a side then we will take 72 degree. Now always remember whenever you take 72 degree what is the common error people do is instead of 72 they either take 68 or 78 so now always remember whenever you are taking always mark properly 70 then 1 and 2 72 and you draw a line like lines same way you take it on the other side again you take 0 1 2 3 now we have to see inside 70 71 72 After this, you take side A to B, cut on this side, as well as cut on this side, or from here, you cut up 
as well as from your recording output side. So our pentagon is done. Now follow the same procedure. Again you take midpoint, join to the opposite corner. So you get a center of the pentagon. Once you got the center of the pentagon, that is O. Now what we have to follow in this? It's the same method, like see, we have divided triangle into three parts, square into four parts. Now we divide a pentagon into five parts. So if you see, we got this. Hmm. Now we will bisect angle OAB. wherever it will cut from that point we will take a center we will take a radius equals to 1 to m Then again we will take O to 1 as radius. We draw another circle. Wherever it will cut here, that is point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4, point 0.5. Now, same method. We will take the same radius, 1 to M. Okay, now see over here it is intersecting at 1, 2 and 3 and if you count this also, let's say if this sum is for 16 marks, then if I am an examiner, I would like to see like okay, he has done the method properly, he has done naming properly as well as uh, dimensioning, see dimensioning is very important. Right? So let's say one error, two error, three error. So I can cut around about one or maybe one and a half marks. So you can easily get some around 14 or 14 and a half. We have seen triangle with three circles, square with four circles, and pentagon with five circles. Now with the same method we can draw hexagon with the six circles. Now you just see how I'm drawing. First, we'll take a side. If I want to draw a hexagon, I'll take a side. Then I'll take radius equals to side. Cut on both the sides. Wherever they intersect from there. I can draw a circle. Now, take the same side, cut on this side, as well as cut on this side. From here, you cut on this side, as well as on this side. So, you got hexagon. After this, you join all the corners, opposite corners. So, we have divided hexagon into six triangles. Now follow the same method, again you draw, again you bisect the side, take midpoint. rectangle OAB
you take 1 to m as a radius this is the, this, this is the point m you draw a circle you take o to 1 and draw a light circle in this point as 2 3 4 5 6 now you take a radius equals to 1m hmm. good and you have to do dimension by as well always remember now in this sum they have given like draw a hexagon and draw six equal circles touching one side and other two circles so in this case hexagon has to be dark and circle has to be dark rest all has to be very light <laughs>